Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sassa Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we have Smoke One. If you have one, Eric's favorite Opus cigar. So this uh, full name, Fuente Fuente Opus X Forbidden Lost City 2020. So this is the 2020 version. They make <clears throat> a few every year. I think they make 500 boxes every year. And this is for the 2020 version. So um, there is not much to to talk about this cigar, really. I don't know. Like, there's not much information, right? Because it's not much information, I can only tell you what this is. So, wrapper Dominican, binder Dominican, filler Dominican. It's five and a quarter by fifty. The box comes in tens. Cigars. And and that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to give to you guys. All right, so let's get started on smoking this thing. This is roughly 35 bucks. So we go with the 35 bucks price tag and see if we get there. <clears throat> Not... No particular smell. There's nothing very particular. That's a good. Draws are... <clears throat> what the? Draw is leafy. Cedary and also like a little bit of like maple leaf, like a fall leaf kind of taste to it. <clears throat> the dry is good though, so we'll see. Uh, we will give the best possible chance of getting this smoke good. Just leaf. All I got was leaf. <clears throat> Just tastes like damp leaf. A little bit sour. That's pretty much it. Maybe a little bit pepper too. Yeah, that's just leafy and bitter. <clears throat> leafy and bitter. Mm. 
Um, I don't know what to say about this. Very bitter to me. We'll see if it gets better. Let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So first third, burn is okay. I don't know why it burns in a weird layer. So yeah, the burn is okay. Uh, the, the flavor. There's sweetness. There is woodiness. It starts out like a little bit bitter. And as it gets to the, the rest of the tobacco, it kind of works its way in. And now it's like, I don't know, some steam. But there's also cedar. And there's some sweetness. Maybe caramel. But very light. Very light. The body isn't that crazy strong. Very light. Um, maybe a little bit earthiness to it. <clears throat> and there's some pepper that kind of scratches my throat. Um, that's pretty much it. So I got nothing much. So we'll see uh, where it goes once I smoke two third way in because the, this, this like. It looks good. It's a good cigar, but you know, sorry, Eric. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. First band, Lost City. I like the band. You know, we're doing the In the Shadow project right now with the band. Like, you know, seeing these bands is a good consideration. These bands are decked out, they feel it to the brim. So, um, we're going to figure out how we're going to do that because this kind of band looks great and we're going to do the just as good, I guess. All right, so be right back. All right, so second, third, watered down. It's just very watered down flavor. Um, I start to have a dry issue there, kind of a tunnel, but not really. Like I'm like getting soot out of it. Uh, yeah, it's like bubbling out. I don't know. Maybe this is just like a bad one, but yeah, there's not much. There's not much going on in this cigar. It's so light. The light body, like, like <clears throat> mild medium at most in terms of strength. Mild medium. The only thing I got to show that's good about the cigar is the ban. Literally. It's the ban. I don't know what else to say about this cigar. It's like rock. It's just so watered down flavor. So watered down. Like, what am I supposed to do about this cigar? So watered down. I don't know. I, I don't know. <clears throat> like, Eric's not gonna like this uh the, the amount I give to this cigar. Not gonna like it. Uh, hopefully, like I need to fix this cigar a little bit. Let me finish it up. Be right back. Okay, so this is the last third, but you see burns like crap. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> the last third has a little bit of like a nutty taste to it. Everything is just toned down. Has a little bit of like a steam mouth burn to it too. But that's pretty much it. I I can't recommend anybody buy this cigar. This cigar, I, I, I think it's available anywhere. Like anywhere that sells Opus X should have that anywhere. It's not a popular cigar, I think. And, and I think this that that's the reason. Uh, it's not worth what it's MSRP for. For me, that's like um, at best. Sorry, Eric. Nine dollar cigar, maybe eight fifty to nine dollar range. I, it's a cigar that I will not be buying. It's just, it's not that good. At first, it was fine, and then like you know, it just gets progressively worse as it goes. So, and it's very light. It's just nothing to it. I feel like it's one of those cigars that they release for their clientele, the target audience that, you know, who can afford it for the heck of it and just want to smoke something that always had an Opus X band on it and they don't want to be too cheap about it because they don't want a cheap Opus X. But it's just, it didn't deliver. I, I feel like it's very light. There's not much going on. Uh, I would not be buying that. So, yeah, about $8, $8.50, $9 range, best I can give. There's literally... <sighs> And that's including the box and everything because if without that it would be so low because like the burn is weird 
uh, the flavor is not there. So mild. I don't recommend it. Sorry, Eric. It's just the way it is. I gotta be. I gotta be very honest. I'm on, on cigars like this. It's just. It didn't deliver. It didn't deliver. Maybe they have some other ways around. Maybe they have the the reason that the price is so high is like premium cigar, premium tobacco in there. But that premium tobacco did not deliver the flavor that it should have. Okay. So yeah, that will be it for this uh, particular review. Thanks to Eric for the, uh, sending me the cigar and this cigar he was sending to me last year. So it literally got a lot of time to sit. It just didn't deliver. Okay. So if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, um, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in the comments. All right, bye guys.